Well, I think a key message is about being willing and open to change, to grow, to learn new approaches. Um, in my own personal career, uh, when I was in graduate school, I could not have taken a Bayesian course if I tried. They simply did not exist. And here I am, 40 to 45 years later, in promoting and advancing Bayesian thinking. Um, I was one of the co-authors of the ICHE9 document, which recommended the use of intent to treat analysis. Now, here I am 25 years later, thinking there's a lot more to statistical inference than intent to treat. So my encouragement, my takeaway message is continue to grow. What will the future hold in new statistical methodologies, new data science methodologies, access to different data sources? The world is changing dramatically, and I think we as statisticians need to be able to embrace that change, enhance our skills, learn new approaches, and um, that's how we're going to succeed in the, the medical and research world of the future. Well, let me say this is my first experience with BBSW, and I am very impressed. I'm impressed with the organization and the uh, motivation and engagement of the community. Um, it's very strong. In that way, I think BBSW plays a vital role in the statistical world in having these regional meetings or conferences. Um, I have deep experience and history with the Midwest Biopharmaceutical Statistics Workshop, and I think that BBSW can play a very similar role uh, here in the Bay Area and on the West Coast. What do I mean by that? These smaller conferences allow for more in-depth conversations, perhaps sessions and talks that have more panel discussions. It's an opportunity for younger, newer statisticians to meet and greet other people and learn and hone their presentation skills, their, their communication skills, etc., without being intimidated by large conferences like the joint statistical meetings, etc. So I think these regional conferences play a very vital role uh, and I'm very impressed with the BBSW mission about connecting people, developing people, um, helping people learn their, their leadership skills, etc. Uh, and I think that's extremely important and I uh, strongly encourage and wish all the best for BBSW to continue and uh, uh, serve this community quite well. Well, one of the things I'll start by saying is I like challenges. By that I mean, um, for example, uh, posting a challenge and letting several people try to solve that challenge. Um, we did this when I was at Eli Lilly. We would simulate data sets where we knew the underlying truth about the treatment effect or subgroup effects or biomarker effects. And then we opened up the challenge to let statisticians both inside the company and outside the company try to use new statistical methodologies to, under, uh, um, to uncover that underlying truth. Um, I think that would be an interesting thing to do here is to create some data sets that different people analyze in different ways and see how they approach it or how they think about the problem. When uh, I was a young statistician, uh, in the MBSW, the Midwest Biopharmaceutical Statistics Workshop, that was a very integral part of that workshop. There were data sets that were put out and available to statisticians and everybody, well, three or four people in a session would take a shot at analyzing the data and sharing their insights, thought processes, maybe even their code. And I think that's a very interesting and interactive way to get ideas on the table as opposed to just talking about method methodology or showing some of your latest research to actually apply it to real data and uh, I can imagine it would be very fun to hear what everybody's answers were and then the originator of the challenge say well here was the true underlying relationship between these biomarkers and response or outcome etc. So that's one thing that I think would uh, um, add to and differentiate BBSW from, from many other conferences. Well, yes, thank you uh, very much. Um, I don't know if I have words of wisdom, but a few thoughts I will share with you. Actually, when I was flying here um, and traveling through one of the airports, I saw 
a TV monitor that had some sort of commercial or advertisement. And what struck me is a quote that was on the screen and it said this, something like this, success is never owned. It is only leased and this month's rent is due. Okay, so whatever we've done in the past, whatever accomplishments we've had, that's good, but you have to keep striving, keep learning, keep challenging yourself to do more one month, one year after another. And I found that uh, very important in my life, uh, having curiosity and asking questions and challenging the status quo um, takes some courage, it takes being bold, it takes being willing to be wrong once in a while and someone pointing out that you're wrong, your new idea or your challenge is not a good one, right? But that's okay, you learn from that as well. So um, I would say be courageous, be bold, pursue, pursue new boundaries and expand your connections and your thought process and you'll have a wonderful career uh, being a statistician in the pharmaceutical and biotech industry. Well, Weddy, thank you very much and thank you to the organizers of BBSW. I'm very much enjoying my time here.